My name is Tasman Cordy, and I'm a chiropractor and nutritionist. Um, when I started college, I was intending to go to medical school. And um, after doing lots of sort of research, I mean lots of shadowing of medical doctors, I realized that they were all really unhappy about what they did. Um, they didn't like their work, they were counting down their days till retirement. And so I started looking around for something else. Um, and when I read through all of the the mission statements of the chiropractic colleges, it just fit, like it worked perfectly. And so I, found, I went to Logan, I went to Logan in St. Louis, and um, it, was, it was a really good fit. I had a friend whose dad did um, applied kinesiology and variations of that um, when I was in chiropractic school. And so I started AK like the first semester when I was at Logan. I worked for the postgrad department, so I went to lots of seminars um, because they were free. <laughs> and I loved them. I mean, I, I needed more than what I was getting in school because I was interested in nutrition, and I didn't get that when I was just in chiropractic school itself. And so um, I went to um, lots of those AK seminars and other, other seminars related to that, like some acupuncture and some EAV stuff, and lots of different things. Um, and I... Um, I liked the nutrition because that's what helped me the most. I did well with adjusting, but it didn't, it didn't handle the things that were wrong with me, that didn't work very well, that didn't feel good. And the nutrition and chiropractic did do that better as a combination, and so that's why I stuck with it and kept using it. Now, when I got into practice, I didn't do very much nutrition initially. Maybe for even like four years, I didn't do very much. But I had these patients who weren't getting better with chiropractic care. I would adjust them on nice treatment schedules that made sense and that were appropriate, and they just did not hold their adjustments, and they weren't improving. Now, some of them did, but not all of them. And so um, I really needed to go back to nutrition, and I used a, a sort of a reflex system with a little bit of muscle testing for about a year. That involved some AK. Um, and then I went to Dr. Schmidt's seminar in Buffalo, in 2008, I think it was. And I have used it, the nutrition response testing system since. It's just so streamlined and so accurate. And it made so much sense immediately. I'm staying with one of my patients um, from Erie down here in Bradenton while I'm here. Um, so it's a little bit of a drive, actually. Um, but she came in, um, and she had like a diagnosis of, I think, fibromyalgia. And just she was just tired all the time. and. She's about, um, she's 59 right now, so she was going through this menopause kind of disaster for her, and she was exhausted and hurt, and she couldn't sleep, and busy and anxious, and not feeling well. Um, and she was just telling me yesterday, like, how good she feels after, it's been like three years since we've been working together. And she's just, she's been like a monthly maintenance patient, or even less than that, for probably at least a year, probably even two years now. And she's changed lots of things, and she can do everything and anything she wants to, and feels really good all the time. And the, one of the interesting things she said, and Dr. Christensen just mentioned this this morning in the seminar, was that she, um, she really doesn't eat sugar or junk or whatever anymore, because she... I mean, she did exactly what he did. She said, because of this, eating that junk food isn't worth not feeling well, and so cutting this out is worth feeling better. Um, like, it was just, it was interesting because she said exactly the same thing he did this morning. Um, but, I mean, that's a really simple example. She doesn't have fatigue. She can sleep. She, you know, all of those fibromyalgia kinds of symptoms are mostly gone and she still has echoes of them if she gets overdone or whatever but it's only been three years and she's got whatever 55 to make up for. 